three, two, one, go. What is good, Gray Gang? We're here today. We have a new side-by-side, -side, but it's not mine. It's his. By the end of the day, we're going to be racing him. I think I can take him. His is about three times as big as this one in all aspects, but I think we can take it. Tell us about what you got, because I have no idea what it is. This is like the mule's really athletic fourth cousin. KRX 1000. I don't know what that means, dude. I'm just I'm just reading the side. I don't know. what. I, I just pulled up here, and I see him. He's like climbing a log. 10, 15 horsepower. The mule had 12. That one's got 50. What's this one got? 120, I think. Take me for a ride in it. All right, guys, here we go. We're gonna see what we can do. What is this? Airplane straps. I'm getting in a fighter pot. Whoa, what do we need this for? You shall see. How do I even put this on? I don't even know how to get this on here. Drive it scary. So far, I would compare this to a F-19 Raptor fighter jet. You ever took yours in a pond? Yeah. I've had a few experiences in a pond. I don't know what he said. I'm gonna wait right here on him. I don't know if he told me to stop or what. Where can this thing not go? I've not found it out yet. Are we gonna go up that? What? This red bank somewhere up here? We'll do it. I'll tell Ethan not to go up it. No idea where they went. I believe we have lost it. There's a frog. It probably doesn't help that he has no idea where he is either. <laughs> Yo, we thought you died. What happened? I thought you said stop. Apparently I did, but I didn't mean to. Anyways, what we're going to do right now, we're going to go up here. There's a big thing like this, and then you can watch us go up it, because it's pretty steep. I came over here the other day, but I got to the bottom of that and turned around. Is this not a bad spot? No. What do you think about it? You think we can get up that? Oh, that's nothing for this. Well, let's go. Is that what this thing's made for? Yep. Mine's made to haul dead cows around and stuff. I think the Defender would make it up that. Do you think I could handle that if I wanted to? Yep. Hmm. All right, boys, here we go. We're gonna try our best. We're pushing her to her all new limits. She'll make it. Here we go, boys. Can no green bean make it? He he's going up backwards. Can't compete. You just can't compete. We'll get him on the straight. There she goes. Pretty good climb right there. All right, what'd you think about it? The Defender done really good. I've got these two boxes and I'm about to show you guys what's in them. Now where these boxes came from is Bespoke Post. If you don't know, Bespoke Post is a subscription service that sends you themed boxes every month. One of the really cool things about these boxes is that all of them have a value of at least $70, but they only cost you $45. So we open up the box, we have this that actually tells us what's in it. So in this one, it appears that we have some gloves. These are leather, so these would be perfect for like fencing and stuff on the farm here. And then these on the back look like some kind of, I don't know what that is, but it's some kind of warm material. I do know that. Now let's move on to this. One. It's a smaller box, but that doesn't mean it can't be good. Oh, this one we got a knife. Oh, oh snap. This is nice. Comes with a sharpening rod, a real nice leather sheath. Then, of course, the knife itself. I really like how the blade looks, and I'm sure you do too. So, if you'd like to check out Bespoke Post for yourself, first link down in the description. You can check those guys out. There's dozens of different boxes to choose from each and every month. And one of my favorite parts, which is pretty unique, if you want to skip a month, you can. So, yeah, guys, if you want to check them out, link down in the description. Thank you, Bespoke Post, for sponsoring this video. Okay, guys, what you're seeing right now is the countdown to the race. We're going to we're gonna do it on blacktop. That way we can both get better traction and, you know, we don't, like, trench it out for World War One style. Side by side, basically a drag race. I mean, it's really not that complicated. I don't know why I'm trying to explain it so much. His is built to climb. Mine's built to, you know, haul dead stuff around. So neither one of them's actually built to race. His has, like, I don't know, four times as much horsepower as mine. Of course I challenged him. I needed content, bro. I mean, mine's definitely a whole lot lighter, I think. I don't know. I'm going to say it's a toss-up. Well, it also depends on how far we go. I could probably beat him quick, but I definitely can't beat him long. Expectations. Who's going to win? Whoever's heart's the biggest. I don't think it works like that, Ethan. All right, Ethan. So, uh, do I need to put it in four-wheel drive or what you reckon? High gear for sure. I know that. I'd put you dip like that. That's it? Yep. It's game day, boys. It's game day. We let him go on a little bit. I'm going to give Ethan a little test launch. Ready? Tell me when. You want me to count down? Three, two, one, go. I mean, I mean, we you tried. You beat him on the jump. We tried, man. 
I think my turbo went out. It's the gear shaft. We spun a little bit too much. Is the blinker fluid low? All right, guys. So uh, not gonna lie, that one kind of hurt a little bit. But it was the it was the differential lug nut. So that's my excuse for this one. But to feed my ego a little bit. I'm going to race the mule. I'm going to absolutely destroy it. There's the green bean versus the trapping shaft on rail. This may be the most iconic race in YouTube history. Also, right on our runway, I don't know if y'all can see them. You definitely can't see them. But there's two deer back there. Let me just tell you, they better get out of the way because the mule is not stopping. 12 horsepower Kawasaki mule. 52 horsepower Defender. If we, Oh my gosh. Wow. This is not in the race, but I'm going to go ahead and say 62,000 horsepower deuce and a half. When he get that thing out and race it, both that further ado guys let's go ahead get on this thing well i'm getting on this thing ethan's taking on that thing i'm just gonna say it how it is guys if i don't win this race i believe i'm just gonna go ahead and delete my channel all right start her up ethan if it will at all Woo! all right boys it's time to get serious are you ready three two one go got away from me line them up again oh wow this thing can't do that let's line them up again we're gonna okay okay or not three two one go i think i beat him three two one go Look at it. That's it. Switch. Switch. We ain't gonna race no more, but I'm taking the mule for a ride. Don't think I forgot about you, baby. First of all, whoever put you in four-wheel drive don't know how to drive it because this is not meant for four-wheel drive. All right, boys, we're taking a launch. Three, two, one. Man, want some speed, son. I honestly think I can run faster than this. Nothing can do donuts that can even compare to this. I'm literally doing 360 burnouts. That poor grass, it didn't deserve that. It already smells like it's burning on the mule. Literally, I think we blew something up. Let's try to get 10,000 likes on this video. If you liked it, tell me what you liked about it in the comments. If you'd like to pick up any merch, support the channel a little bit, get on grade1.com slash shop with the first link in the description. That's where you're gonna pick it up. But until next time, guys, I will see you later. <laughs>